Hello, Sim Gamers. After a year of bug fixes and new features, I finally jumped into Elite Dangerous Odyssey and the credits are rolling in. Last time, we gathered some intel on a mega ship, which fell under attack, giving us a chance to collect some bounties. In between episodes, I did another intel scan, earning enough credits to upgrade our ship. Today, we take our new Asp Explorer, its generous cargo hold, and jump rage on its maiden voyage. That's coming up right now in this uncut episode of Let's Play Elite Odyssey. Hello, Sim Gamers. We're back with some more Elite Dangerous uh, Odyssey. Uh, we're in our ship. Actually, what I've done is I upgraded. Uh, so I managed in a in in between episodes, I did another uh, scan a mega ship mission, and there was a combat around it. I learned earned about a million credits and bounties uh, was easy enough, and also scanned the mega ship, which was worth one point three million, which gave me all the money I then needed to confidently upgrade from my Viper Mark IV to an asp explorer um and i've upgraded whatever modules i could i still have enough money to cover a rebuy just in case the work worst happens but we're going to go ahead and take it on its maiden voyage and i found these missions um 30 units of non-lethal weapons uh to basically we can uh, convey to cavendish's progress uh and it looks like there's two missions going to the same place and i now have 80 tons of available cargo space so we're going to go ahead and grab this Grab all that. And the other transportation mission going to the same location. Still assuming it's still here. Um, wasn't polymers. Where did that particular... There it is. <clears throat> Reactive armor. Same place. Cavendish's progress. So go ahead and go accept that. Um, collect our items. Now we still have room for 20 tons of cargo. Um, not only the weapons and reactive armor going to Cavendish's... Uh, Cavendish Space Enterprise. Oh, shoot. These aren't the same place. Oh, well. They're, they're, they're... I guess two places on the same planet? I thought they were in the same place. Um, but I do know at least they're going to this... Uh, no, drop off port for Cavendish's progress. And then this one, also Cavendish's progress. Yeah, this is for different factions. Okay, so we're going to the Japai system, Cavendish's progress. So I'm going to keep on looking um, for anything else going there. Two units of polymers. Here's eight more units of reactive armor. And it's going to a different spot. Different spot. I don't have room for 30 units of anything. I've got room for 20 units of stuff. And it doesn't look like... 45 units of polymers going somewhere else. 16 units of reactive armor as well. Going to the same place? Nope. Food can arsenal. Okay. So, um, I'll go ahead and see... Uh, there weren't any courier missions or anything. So we've gone ahead and uh, picked up everything we need. Double check my inventory. Sure enough, 60 tons of stuff. And the uh, jump range, since I upgraded it and got my, uh, my engines and everything upgraded for this one, is really quite good. Um, I did install some modules for autopilot and stuff like that just to make my life easier for now. 
But I guess we'll go ahead and get to our galactic map and set our course. Um, I do want to go to my options and make sure I'm using the fastest route possible. So we're making a bunch of jumps, sure thing, but this ship is ca certainly capable of doing it. And uh, let's go into the uh, ooh, system data unavailable. We will have to find... find the system we're going to but it'll just be a bunch of jumps for 2 million credits once we get there um yeah and that should be fine 10 jumps here we go a nice 10 jump maiden voyage for our Af asp explorer I don't know how much time I'm going to spend scanning stuff along the way I might just do honks just to get the systems maybe It is, after all, an Asp Explorer, though. Oh, I don't have a surface... A planetary surface scanner. That's an oversight. I definitely want to change out one of my, uh... Small cargo holds for a uh, detailed surface scanner. I do have the vehicle bay, though. So the Federation is quite friendly to us. Let's go ahead and redistribute for flying. Viper Mark IV was fun while it lasted, and between the combats I was able to pull off and stuff, it did give me enough money to afford this Asp Explorer. Uh, I do have a fuel scoop install installed, as it is a, like, it's the long-range exploration ship. The only thing that goes further, I think, is the Anaconda. Can we get out of mass lock, please, so I can continue on my way? So the sort of uh, ship category we're in at this point is uh, Fuel scoop disengaged. do I care to scan all this stuff? No, I know all that stuff. All right, watch it. The category that I'm in in ship is basically the five to ten million uh, category now. The Asp Explorer clocks in at 6.6 .6 million, but I had all the upgrades and everything done on my Viper Mark IV. Um, to a point where I was able to basically trade it in. And this ship actually only cost me like 1.8 million out of pocket, and then everything else went back into upgrades. So. So we're definitely starting to come into the money as we increase our faction with various places. We'll find better, um, better missions. I'm always checking to see if I need to scan anything really quick. The way this ship does thermals is pretty awesome. Oh, the other thing I did that helped make a little bit of money wasn't all that much at the end of the day, but it, you know, every little bit counts. As I was already in the system, um, and had the trade information, basically, I used the I used the trade calculations uh, to find out how much money I'd make off of, of various products if I brought them back to my home station when I got to my destination where the mega ship was had a whole bunch of bounties to collect anyway, so I figured I'd go in and turn those bounties in. Three, two, one, 
turn those bounties in, buy a bunch of cargo, and bring it back for a profit. Uh, it actually, with 32 tons of cargo, it only netted me like maybe 275,000 credits, I think. But again, every little bit helps. This is an interesting binary star. System scan complete. Frameshift drive charging. So we're jumping into a spot with a primary fuel star, security level anarchy. Uh, so maybe this is a spot where we can go ahead and scan really quick and pick up some fuel along the way. Go ahead and drop ourselves into a fuel scoop orbit here. Fuel scoop disengaged. Need to pull into a tight orbit. Here we go. The only thing is that I was only able to put drop a class three fuel scoop on here. So we're going to go ahead and push the thermal limit here a little bit higher. Just spiraling a smidge closer here and there. Fuel scooping does take a while. Okay, 100, oh, 100 per second looks like our max. Is that our max? Class 3 fuel scoop. It's not the best, most efficient thing for this ship. I guess it might make sense. Maybe if I... Um, if I downgraded the shield generator to a class 3 and put a class 4 fuel scoop in here, possibly. Four, three, two, one, the other option is to put a class 6 fuel scoop and then use all my class, you know, whatever class 3 spots I have for cargo, but that would make very, very few cargo spaces. And as I'm kind of using this as a hybrid exploration mission runner, There's a decent chance that... No, oh, off. Never mind. I always check for... Um, check the various, the various ships to see if there's anything. Uh, you never know when one of them is going to be hostile and trying to be, take my mission cargo. Four jumps to go. Easy enough. And it looks like most of our jumps are, in fact, through civilized space. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Fuel scooping is really only necessary when I'm out exploring. I can just buy fuel when I get to where I'm going. Oh, that was cute. Make it easy on yourself and submit. Nah, don't think I will, Bo. Hey, Sim Editor here, reminding you to subscribe and enable notifications if you want to know when more episodes like these come out. Now, back to the episode. Fuel scooping. 
fuel scoop disengaged. Here's a whole bunch of a place with a whole bunch of undiscovered stuff. Not sure how much undiscovered stuff. Eleven undiscovered stuffs. Kinda wish I had a surface scanner. But I'll make do with what I got here. These scans really quick. All this stuff equates to money at the end of the day, so... Taking a little bit of time to scan these bodies really quick. It's just cash in the pocket. And you never know when I might find a feature that I'm interested in exploring further. Only one more thing to find along the uh, the uh. system scan. Complete. All right, system scan complete. Let's continue along the way. Like someone's trying to be French shift drive charging. Trying to be hostile. Ooh. You got too close to the sun though or something. But we're pulling up on our destination station, destination um planet. We're here, and I was just gonna find where we're going. There it is. Nice and close. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the scanner. Looks like nothing to scan really for me, so... I don't need super cruise assist on this one. We're coming down to the planet for a landing. A lot of chatter from um, passenger liners and stuff in the area. Doing passenger missions is how I made a bunch of money in the other, in my other account. Kind of interesting, depending on who you're talking to, a few million credits Orbital flight to engaged. drive people places. Let's 
Cavendish's progress comes over the horizon now. We'll begin angling down towards it here. It's a pretty steep dive, but it should be all right. These planetary starports are pretty interesting places to drive around, explore. Let's go ahead and turn landing lights on and our infrared on or night vision on. And uh, we'll let our autopilot take care of the rest as we drop off our cargo here. Looks like another ASP. Uh, is that an explorer or a scout? A little bit hard to see how to tell. I think it was an explorer. Maybe I'll get rid of my Super Chris Assist module. I don't know if I'm going to be using it anymore. Replace, use that and replace it with a detailed surface scanner. We've got missions to drop off. Mission Depot. Deliver. 30 of that. Um, do I want any repetition? No, I just want the money dollars. Sure, I'll take a... Oh, no, that's cargo. I'm running the insulin memory, so I'll take... I don't need any more cargo. I need less cargo. The factions generally like me. Deliver these items. Confirm. Uh, firmware patches. Oh, man. I don't know. Money is good. And I just got a promotion to merchant out of the deal. $2.6 million. Uh, basically $2 million in, in one mission. Um, and what I ended up doing, like... Oh yeah, I have Universal Cardo. I might be able to sell, uh, sell some... 38,000 credits and pages to sell here. And we still have... An outstanding... Um, uh, thing in another... Uh, system, so I'd like to eventually uh, get rid of that. Let's go ahead and touch up our paint and integrity. Um, and everything's looking great there, so I just want to take a peek at the shipyard. We've got nine ships available. We are currently in the uh, so at this station, the next category of ship we're getting into is, is the Type 9, the $50 million and above category. Um, what we can also do is really take a... Oh, they don't have outfitting here. So no outfitting available, but what we'll take a look at doing is, since I'm going to be... No commodities market. Never mind. I was going to check to see if they had any commodities for the way back. What's their mission board look like? Any cool transportation missions that are easy peasy millions of dollars? Um, nothing really in here worth getting me out of bed for. Any operational scans that are worth a lot of money. Here's a 
1.2 million dollar scan for a mega ship. Threat zero probably means there's hostiles in the area. Um, but it's traveled to another system 49 light years away, which is like three jumps for me. And then come back here for 1.2 million. It's not the worst idea in the world. Any better versions of that? Nope, 1.2 million is good though. But at the end of the day, I'm going to pass on that right now. It's a pretty easy mission just to get, uh, get the maiden voyage of my ship out into the verse. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take myself back to the Ruza Gateway because that's where I want to be working on my, on my faction stuff from anyway. And until next time, I'm SimGamerTV, and this has been... Elite Dangerous, with the Odyssey uh, DLC installed. Catch you next time.